Let's normalize talking about entities. Actually, I don't like it when people say let's normalize because really, in reality, you're just normalizing something for yourself. You can't really, you know, force everyone else to do a thing, be the change you want to see in the world, that kind of jazz. So um, what I would like to normalize in my life and then have that ripple out is talking about energy and entities. And it's something that I was explaining to a friend of mine the other day, the concept of entities, because um, a few years ago, uh, when someone would mention entities, it would be a bit freaky and a bit creepy. And because it was the unknown, it would be a bit scary. Um, I would hate the idea and the thought of something possessing me and attaching to me that I don't know. And it was like conjuring up all these uh, images of like fucking... Oh, sorry. Just I never swear on here. Okay, well, there it is. Um, maybe it was an entity. Uh, anyway, it conjures up all these images of freaking um, exorcist films and all of that kind of jazz, you know. And these films have obviously been made. These programs have been made to scare us and made us make us fear this stuff. And it's worked because, you know, all through my childhood, I was absolutely bloody terrified of this stuff. Um, But now I'm not. And here we are. Here I am talking about it. So from my perception, everybody has a different perception. perception. Everybody has a different perception, a different um, maybe teaching. Uh, This is mine. What I have been taught by my own experiences by spirit and um, various, um, like-minded souls that are on, oh my god, my cat is on my lap, (laughs) um, like-minded souls that are on the same frequency as me, so, oh, he's all slow and old, okay, so entities, um, they're an energy, so when we have a trauma, when we have a point of, um, trauma in our body that point of trauma will be acting like at a lower vibration than the rest of us so with the theory that like attracts like this point of trauma will attract the same frequency so there's just energy like everything is energy there's for different frequencies floating around everywhere you know this this loop station this microphone these lights are giving off certain frequencies nature obviously gives off one of the highest frequencies my wi-fi over here gives off a very let's say high and low good and bad it's 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 hard to put it in such a linear construct but for the sake of this like understanding, we know that the signal, that the frequency that comes off the Wi-Fi is not healthy for us. So um, with that in mind, we've, we've got these frequencies. Everything is frequency. Everything is vibrating at a certain rate. Um, so when we have these points of trauma, they're, they're vibrating at um, a frequency that is un- unhealthy for our body, right? So... Um, what can happen is that these energies that are around can attract like a magnet, like like glue to these traumas. And what they can do is they can kind of manifest and, and grow and almost become their own identity over time. <sighs> My cat. <laughs> nope. Um, so they they form their own sort of identity over time. Now this is what we would what I would refer to as an entity. So what can happen is if they are left unattended or un um, unaddressed for too long, they can take hold over our energy. So when we see things play out like addiction or habits and behaviors that we feel like we're aware of but we can't quite um, get it under control ourselves we can't quite get on top of this problem that we have I I believe that these are the entities that are running the show that they are feeding off of that addiction so say for example we're addicted to sugar that thing that most of us can relate to these entities are making us crave the sugar so that we um 
we have we have the sugar, we take the thing that's, that's bad for us, but it feeds the entity so the entity can then manifest. And, and it's not good and it's not bad. It's just something that doesn't, that, that can be detrimental to our health. And when they get, when they get really, um, energetically expansive, then they can take quite a hold over us. Um, and they can, depending on where they are in the body, obviously they can cause different kind of effects. Um, and for me, I feel like it's it's helpful for just to just make them so um, accessible in conversation because we all have, I believe, entities because they are just energy at- attached to what we already have going on. And it's okay. It's not shameful. It's not bad. We all have this in our ener- energetic system and it's just something that we can very easily clear out I can clear it out of my in my energy work with my voice and it's something that you could also empower yourself to do and yeah it's 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 okay it's normal it's natural it's the world we live in right now and that is my take on entities thanks (laughs) 